He's 645 or so here. We're at Lakewood Toyota. One of our favorite spots to always go to that we've been going to for a few years now, but this is probably the most Tundras I've seen on their lot ever. There's just Tundras as far as the eye can see, and I'm going to end it today with a really cool one for you. So we will look at some of the inventory, and then tomorrow the main event will be the dealer walk video where we check out the pricing and everything. Chad, how you doing? Chad, you're always the first one. I love it. Good morning to you. A lot of Tundras here. A lot of Tundras. More than probably we've ever seen at this lot. There's even three behind me and then one all the way over there, which we will see. Eric, what's up, buddy? Again, we'll lightly go over these today. You guys can tell me what you think of what you're seeing. And then uh, tomorrow we will dig deep. Kevin, what's up? William, how you doing? Knoxville, Tennessee in the house. Well, it's good to see you guys are up. Probably got a cup of coffee in front of you. That's good. I've only had two sips of coffee so far, so bear with me. Although for two sips of coffee, I got through my video pretty clean, no issues. So that's a nice start. It's a nice start to the day. Nice start to Sunday. Talladega NASCAR race later today. One of my absolute favorites. So let's go over this lineup as people sign on. Andrew, happy belated birthday to you. Thank you for being here, sir. A couple will just uh, blow through here. A little SX. This one here is a Lunar TRD Sport and another SX. Work play. How you doing, pal? RCSB fresh out of storage. I'm a little jealous. Still want one, but, uh, you know, always looking. You get the lift on the 2024 this week. That's awesome. Yeah, there's, uh, speaking of lift, there's a couple TRD lifts here, and I'm going to show you both of them today. You don't have to wait until the video tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. We'll, uh, we'll show you them today. As far as the details and the pricing, that's tomorrow. This is the SR5 TRD off-road. We've seen this uh, last time we were here. We came here about a month ago. And the reason I came back today is because their inventory like blew up and it's awesome. So they got like over 17 tundras here. So that's that black SR5 TRD off-road. Looks pretty good. Needs a bigger tire, of course. We got this platinum magnetic gray metallic iForce Max. We've seen both of them. Then you will notice a lot of white tundras here. Double cab SR5 TRD off-road and crew max SR5 TRD off-road. And there's a few of them. This is the most SR5s I've seen in a long time. It does need bigger tires, absolutely, when you get the lift. One thing I've never understood, the head shaker of me doing all these dealership walks, right, is, okay, these trucks are very expensive nowadays, out of price range for a lot of consumers. But my one question is, how come there's not more SR5s on the lot, which is a price point where a lot of people can make it happen? Well, Lakewood has... Uh, fix that because there's more SR5s than I've ever seen on a lot since the new generation has come out. Isn't that crazy? This one here is, it's, it's the apple of my eye. Um, platinum, supersonic red, iForce Max, looking all sorts of good. Great in the sun. It's dark chrome that goes with the red, which is always great. That's just a beautiful truck right there. The color is so good. If you're going to get platinum, and you're going to get regular platinum. This is one of those colors that's amazing to me. I'm sure you'll agree. I've seen more platinums than anything. Yes, you always see the high trim stuff. But uh, yeah, man, they've, they've solved that here because this is SR5 land now. 1794 TRD off-road. I think I read last night, which I will confirm on my video tomorrow, all of the Tundras here at Lakewood Toyota have a four or $5,000 off uh, deal going on till the end of the month. So keep that in mind. If you see anything you like, platinum, regular platinum. Midnight Black, can't go wrong. That looks great with the dark room. Then you'll see more SR5 TRD off-roads, which is awesome. And I love the white on SR5 TRD off-road, by the way. 1794, mad gray, plain, iForce Max. See the, from the sun coming up, the saddle brown in there. That's not TRD. Another double cab. We never see double cab, especially SR5 TRD off-road, like the one I have. Well, we now see two. But this has the regular SR5 18-inch TRD wheel, not the upgraded one, which to be honest with you, these wheels have grown on me so much over the time. I like the bigger sidewall. Uh, these are 18 inch versus the 20 inch TRD wheels on limited platinum 1794. Then we have the crew max. Oh, and another thing that I have to applaud this dealership for doing, because like I said, I walk these lots a lot. And a lot of times you guys walk them with me with these live streams. Not only are you seeing SR fives all over the place, but these SR5s are built down, fabric seats, 8-inch screen. So if you're looking to save 
a good amount of money, like these are the ones you're going to want to do it with because this is just, hey, eight inch screen does the job just fine. Fabric seats are cool. It's not a big deal. It's up to you. Depends how you want to spend money, of course. Uh, but it's good to see dealerships doing that in a way where you don't have to get, oh, yeah, good. They got SR5s. Oh, wait, but it's got the 14 inch screen. It's got the soft text. It's got, you know, uh, 360 count. It's got all the expensive stuff. This one is not that way. It doesn't even have the 360. As you can see, there's no little camera in front of Toyota there. And if you come to one that has it, you'll see a little camera. So if you're looking for something a little more affordable, they went that direction here at this dealership. And again, I applaud them for that. Why not? This dealership usually has markups. Um, but again, it said $5,000 off all their Tundras. So I don't know if that's $5,000 off MSRP or $5,000 off of markups. I don't know. This one kind of blew my mind because it was the first time I've ever seen a brand new SR in the new gen. This is an SR double cab with the eight foot bed, ladies and gentlemen. You do not see these every day. I've only seen one new gen SR and it was used at Scranton Toyota like last summer. Look at that thing. Celestial silver, gigantic bed. You can't get the bed lights and outlet on sr which blows my mind i feel like they're they're uh that's like a blown opportunity right there for a work truck everything that's functional and that'll help you do the job should be on the work truck they are third gen steel wheels yes but they're not actually steel apparently we're beyond that so but yes they are every time i call them steel wheels i get yelled at just a plain Jane truck. There's not much that comes on SR. This has the SR tow package on it. That's pretty much the only thing you can add. But you're not going to buy this truck to drive around and have a good time. You're going to buy this for work. I don't know if the camera will do it justice. That bed is gigantic. And the inside is very basic. This has the iForce engine, but it's slightly detuned. Another thing I think they should get rid of and just make this puppy a regular iForce engine, but that's just me. Because if you remember, the last generation, the last couple of years, all there was was the 5.7 V8. They got rid of all the other engines. So you could get the best engine in SR. I think they should go back to, I'm not saying iForce Max the SR, but at least give the regular iForce. Now let's go over and see the main event of this little dealer walk live stream. And again, the ones in front of me here, SX, which if you don't know what SX is, $300 appearance package on low level SR5s that just gives it a nice look on the outside. Everything's body color, debadged, other than four by four and that SX, no Tundra on the side, no SR5 up on the door. It's pretty much a debadged low level SR5, but it makes it look pretty. So that's a nice one, TRD Sport, Lunar. This one again, this actually has the, the soft tax heated seats on the inside, but the eight inch screen. So another way to kind of get in there a little cheaper. And another SX. Looking forward to the new color mud bath coming to Tundra. Me too, buddy. I'm gonna have to find a way. I wish I could. I wish I could find a way to buy it, but no way. Because TRD Pros is too much money for me, at least. This is underground. The color underground on the Forerunner, which looks great. I love that. I can't afford it, but I love it. That's the fun part about looking at vehicles. You know, even though you can't uh, potentially can't afford some of them. They're still fun to look at and see where you're missing. Confused why it's detuned like you get punished for buying a cheaper truck. Yeah, I don't know. I, I really don't even have. There's some things people will say or complain about. And then I'm like, well, here's probably what they were thinking. I don't know what they were thinking with SR. I've made a few videos since the new gen SR has come out. And it's always about things that it needs to get. Because I understand you want to keep the price low, but you, it's a work truck, right? It's a work fleet truck. You're going to buy it to do landscaping, construction, to haul. At least give it the regular iForce engine. So this is the main event of the day, ladies and gentlemen. This is a limited TRD off-road with the TRD 3-inch lift on it. So for 2024, in case you don't know, if you go TRD off-road on limited, body color, everything. So this thing is beautiful. Standard. Soft text, heated, ventilated memory seats, 14 inch screen. This has the addition of the JBL, but not the panel roof. It has the iForce, not the iForce Max. That's a great looking truck. Black Toyota badge up front, which uh, actually comes with, I should say, I don't know if I should say comes with, but every limited TRD that I've seen has that black badge. So we'll say yes, it comes with it. 
with that TRD grill. But this is like truly all blacked out. You got the premium auto leveling headlights, not standard unlimited, but this one has it. Those are those 20 inch TRD wheels I was talking about. Got that red spring in there and the silver upper control arm. And then the red shocks in the back. Some folks report who have the TRD three inch lift that the drive isn't bad. Um, it's not too harsh. I'll show you guys the pricing on this one. So there's your JBL. Three inch lift is a $4,000 add-on. Limited premium package. Eric, how you doing? TRD off-road package. Trifold tonneau cover. Nothing too nuts. 69314, 72648 with the markup sticker. Once again, uh, because of what I've read last night with $5,000 off, I'm not sure if the markup stickers are null and void. At another dealership I went to uh, quite a while ago, a few weeks, maybe a month now, they still had markup stickers on it, but they were null and void. At which point I said to the dealership, you should probably take those down. <laughs> TRD off road. Solid looking truck, right? I love how they went and and when i say body colored everything for the limited trd talking about this that is now body color handles everything is now no more machine silver or chrome the grill surround is body color it just looks good this has the 360 camera on it ah oh, that is so nice now if you like that truck and we're not talking about the price just if you like that truck you gotta hit the like button if you're new to the channel hit subscribe welcome aboard we do these dealer walks every single week to go see what's out there, what kind of pricing, look for some trends. Uh, but this is a nice find. I did not know this was here today. So I'm very, very excited to show you guys this one. Definitely my favorite one. But uh, before we close this thing out, I figure we walk over here one more time and uh, talk about just an overall summary of what we've seen. And then the famous question, which Tundra would you take home today, ladies and gentlemen? I want to hear each and every one of you let me know which one you would take home. If price didn't matter, I really like that red platinum. Um, but because that's not realistic, I really like those white SR5 TRD off-roads. The difference I would do this time is I would go Crew Max. I also like this TRD Sport and Lunar because you guys know Lunar has my heart. These SXs are beautiful. Again, I love the fact, this is the stuff that Toyota should talk about more. Low-level SR5. Now, usually if you go low-level in any brand... Um, you know, there's not a lot of cool looking stuff on it as far as exterior features or anything. I like the fact that they have this $300 add-on package on low-level SR5. That actually makes it look more premium, you know, with a blacked out wheel, body color, everything. Check out the front. I mean, this has the shipping tape on it still. Chad likes the lifted limited. Absolutely. But it's a good here, actually. So this X, or excuse me, this SX down here doesn't have the tape on it or anything. But this is, again, this is fabric seats, 8-inch screen. This one has the SR5 convenience package, which gives you the blind spot monitoring, parking sensors, and the bigger fuel tank. See, I think this is like something, if I was doing advertising for Toyota, I would definitely talk about this one every once in a while when I talk about my high trim stuff. And I would enter this into the press fleet so all of the journalists drive one of these lower-level ones to show the people out there that it's not all 1794 platinum and trd off-road so let me know what you think once again let me show you this quick line of tundras and you can tell me which one you're taking home famous question got all these sr5s platinums that red one love that red one got the sr at the end with the eight foot bed a lot of sr5s that's kind of the theme of the day it's sr5 day here at lakewood toyota so i thank you guys for watching i want you to have a great sunday don't forget talladega nascar races later today if you like nascar and the question at the end of this video, I'm going to show you, and I want you all to answer, even if we sign off, go down in the comments, underground, this is the color. Looks kind of like a flat mad gray. Do you want to see this come to Tundra? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. God bless each and every one of you. God bless the troops and emergency service workers of the United States and Canada. And of course, God bless the United States of America. Everyone